Listen, if you knew that you were one of the guys who wasn't coming back, if you knew that right now, what would you do with the last few days of your life? It could be anything you want, any fantasy. I give everybody five seconds to think about it. Oh, I thought of it. I'd be one of the 1.7 coming back. Well, this is morbid. I like it. Let's play for money. For money? Yeah, five bucks a man, the guy with the best fantasy wins. That's nuts. Okay. All right. I'm in. <laughs> okay. We need a judge. You know, I'll be the judge. Why you? Because I thought of the game. When it's my turn, somebody else judges me. Panty up, everybody. Come on, Arnold. Five bucks. I don't sell my fantasies. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't be like that, Arnold. Okay. Carney, you're first. <clears throat> You're gonna be dead, killed in action. What do you want to do with the last few days of your life? How much time do I have to do it in? A week. I need 10 days. It's my game, you only get a week. What are you gonna do with it, Danny? Okay. I'd sing at Radio City Music Hall. <laughs> five shows a day, my own spot. In the audience are 5,000 screaming gorgeous girls and every one of them wants me. And there's one man the president of Decca Records, and he wants to give me a big contract. Oh. And I have to make a choice. Take the record contract. I would take the record contract. Yeah. Right, right, I take the record contract. Ha! Moron! He could have hung 5,000 girls, and now he's got a record contract that ain't worth shit! <laughs> Wrong. Because now I'm a, I'm a big star, and everyone knows that stars get all the girls they want. Oh, yeah? How? You're dead! Girls don't go out with dead record stars! <laughs> hey, bullshit! It's my fantasy. I can do whatever I want with it. What's my score, Gene? Well, you started off with an A-, minus, but you ended up with a B. B? <laughs> That's better than I ever did in school. Selbridge is next. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> I make it with seven of the richest women in the world. And I'm so hot, each one of them gives me a million bucks. So at the end of the week, I got seven million bucks. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> if you're dead, what are you gonna do with seven million dollars? I told you, that's why I need ten days. I need to take a long weekend and spend the money. Give up, suckers, I got you all beat. <laughs> moronic. It's beyond moronic. It's sub-moronic. Yeah, I, go ahead, Jerome. Break the hearts and tell them my score. It lacks poetry. I give Selridge a B minus. B minus? You give me a B minus? This creep becomes a dead record star and he gets a B. I want my money back. Hey, touch that money and you're dead. I was kidding. You think I was serious? I was kidding. Who's next? Hennessy. Me? No, I'm not ready yet. It's your turn. I'm not very good at things like this. <laughs> Come on, just say it. No, I can't think of anything. Oh, he can't think of anything, so he's out. Tough shit. Give him an F. Who's next? No, no, okay, okay. I'd spend it with my family. Oh, oh this guy's that's serious. Not an asshole. I'd spend it with my family. No, come on, it's my last week. I can do whatever I want, and I'd... Yeah, I'd like it to be with my family. Okay, Jerome, what are you getting for that crap? Well, it's not that interesting, but at least it's honest. B+. Plus. Whoa! Oh, okay, that's it. This game is fixed. I'm calling the military police. I get a B- minus for screwing seven millionaires, and he gets a B+, plus for going home to his mother! Okay, Wachowski, you're next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to make it with a world-famous woman. Somebody that nobody could have in this country but me. I'd be the only American to have it. Have you someone in mind? <laughs> yeah, I got someone in mind. <laughs> I think we're heading for an A+. Plus. Who's the woman, Kowski? The Queen of England. Boom! <laughs> the Queen of England! <laughs> That is disgusting. It's like making it with your own grandmother. Well, for a whole week. Maybe we stop for tea and crumpets. <laughs> apes and gorillas. I'm living with apes and gorillas. Come on, what's his score? Give him the score. Yes, give the Earl of Meatloaf his score. This is a tough one. I find it completely unredeeming in every way. Morally, ethically, and sexually. But it's got style. <laughs> A minus. Ah! A minus. You're sick, Jerome. You give the highest score to the guy who humps the mother of the British Empire. Hey, oh. so, so I'm winning, right? Not yet. There's two more to go. Epstein's next. I want to hear what his last week on Earth would be like. Probably wants to take an English exam at City College. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. They're blowing retreat. Come on, Arnold. It's your last week on Earth. What's your secret desire? 
I don't want to say it. If I say it, it might not come true. I know, I know. He wants to pass gas. He wants to bend over and blow up the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Will you give him a chance, please? He has one. What is it, Arnold? What's the last thing you want to do on this earth? I would like to make Sergeant Merwin J. Toomey do 200 push-ups in front of this platoon. That's good. I hate to admit it, but it's good. <laughs> it's all right. 500 would have been better. I think it's terrific. A plus. Ooh! Hey, plus, you're crazy. Now you can't win. I can still tie him. Oh. I, but if it's a tie, all bets are off. Nobody wins. Fair enough. Somebody else has to judge me. Wachowski, pick a judge. <laughs> okay, sure, I pick Selridge. I love it. No matter what crap he says he gets an A-plus, your money is safe, boys. Retreat means lights out, goddammit! Never had to do push-ups in bed before. I could start tonight. So what do you do with your last week on Earth? <laughs> I would lose my virginity. Win the Pulitzer Prize for literature. And fall in love with the perfect girl. Why don't you score the winning touchdown for Notre Dame yeah. while you're at it? Give him a score, Roy, so we can take our money back. I give him a C minus. What? <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna let him beat me with that pissy story. I came up with something hot. I'm not giving him an A-plus for falling in love. Why doesn't he go home and visit Annie's family? Jesus, you're a moron! <laughs> you're looking on the train and soon you dropped your brain. All right, come on, Arnold. Arnold, you win. It's your money. 